Good morning, friends, and welcome to Friday, December 11th. Thanks to James Montney for getting us started this morning. Devotions are from the Upper Room Discipline, written by Benjamin Howard. And our scripture is Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. And then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. And then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses in the Negreb. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, carrying their sheaves. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. It was like we had been dreaming. Sit with this phrase for a moment. We see dreams throughout the Bible, most prominently in Joseph's interaction with Pharaoh, but they were also mentioned throughout the prophets. Dreams even come up in Peter's sermon on Pentecost when he recites the prophecy from Joel that your elders will dream dreams. Dreams are usually so abstract that they're hard to decipher. But the content of dreams isn't important here. The truly important thing is the feeling of dreams, the euphoria of the unexpected and the unimagined coming into existence. The people were so shocked that things could get better that it was no longer a hope, it was a dream. And then God does it. God changes things and saves the people. And in verse 3, the psalmist says, Yes, the Lord has done great things for us. God sees the people in trouble, and he saves them. The people could never have hoped for such a thing, even during their waking hours. And yet, when we read Psalm 126 more closely, it appears that this salvation has happened in the past. Once again, the people of God find themselves in dire circumstances. In fact, this is a psalm of lament, mostly written after the people have returned to Israel from exile. They have been saved, and yet they still need God for more. Their salvation has come in part, but not in full. They celebrate the justice they received and hope for justice yet to come. As we've seen throughout this week's readings, Advent reminds us that salvation we have received is only a glimpse of the fullness of God's story. There are more and greater things to come in the person of Jesus, and our salvation will be made complete. Let us pray. Lord, change our circumstances for the better, like dry streams in the desert waste, Continue your work within us and lead us to give thanks for your glorious deeds. Amen. And now let's close with, O oh God, our help in ages past. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. Be blessed this day.